Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today we'll be painting up our barricades from the Kill Team Octarius box set. We're going to get them up to a tabletop standard. And here I've finished painting them all. They work great for uh, just assembly line painting. But to do this, I primed it with Army Painter White, then used some um, Army Painter plate metal. Plate mail metal, gun metal, matte black, and I used a wash. I used Citadel's Seraphim Sepia. So this just takes uh, a couple steps. The sepia drying is going to be your longest step here. But let's go ahead and get started. To start, I've primed my barricade uh, white here using the Army Painter uh, White. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Army Painter gunmetal. I'm going to put just a little drop in the palette. Now I'm going to take a piece of foam. You don't have to use a piece of foam. You can also use a brush or a really beaten up brush. You just you're going to do is you do this with the same thing with the brush. This is um, got out of a model. This is the little foam in a blister pack. So I dip a paint, and off camera I've got a piece of paper, and I go like that, and I get most of the paint off on the piece of paper, and then I just start tapping the raised surfaces. And so you don't get the same repeating pattern. What you can do is rotate either the object or the sponge and overlap them a little so it doesn't get a little too matchy. And you can also take it and just smear it like that, you know, depending on how much battle damage you want. Because remember, this is the front side, this is the back, so I put a little less damage on the back more look, it's been dropped and dragged around. I want most of the metal on the bottom. Okay, so now you see we have our damage on there, and you can damage these to taste, so not a lot, to a little medium amount. Alright, now we're going to take some Seraphim Sepia, give that a good shake, and I have a brush that I've beaten up a lot. I don't use it for much else except for applying wash in thick amounts. So, see that one dunk there should span us the whole front. Now, I want to make sure to get under these bolts and really work it into these crevices here. Get the other side. And since it has these little teeth in there, you want to jab it in there. Because little air pockets will form around them. And 
Now you might be asking, what about the little corner I'm holding on to? I'm going to take my palette. I'm just going to sit it right there. We're going to let that dry for a while. Now our barricade has dried, so I'm going to check this over. You can see where it pulled some. This is on the bottom. You can knock that off. Sometimes it'll get on there thick enough to knock the barricade over. But now you can see we have three little rounds impact zones right there. So I'm going to take some matte black the drop in my palette. Then I'm going to take one of my brushes here and I'm just going to fill in that crater. that dry. So now our black has dried and I'm going to go with some plate metal silver here. Just a drop. And I'm going to take a really fine brush. And I'm just going to fill in everything except the outline of black. And this will make it different from the scuff marks and really highlight on the board that the paint and primer has been blasted away. There we go. A couple of steps. We got something that's tabletop ready. Well, thank you for joining us at Mitch Horror Gaming Labs and we'll see you next time.